What is up, the Aspiami Addict here, getting the ad with a fashionable crave for otaku meat. With the unboxing of the Even of the East Premium Edition from Funimation Entertainment. Yes, finally, another Premium Edition unboxing from Funimation, the company that decides to make peculiar Premium Editions, but finally decided to make one that fits my fancy now. So now, let's take a look at this thing. So here you have it zoomed up close, personal, and unwrapped with this very Aniplexish design on here. You see this little flabby paper here that you would usually get out of like a Fate Zero 1 and 2 box set, and most of everything else, and even Sentai Filmworks did one or two of them, but get, went away from them for a little bit. But yeah, this feels like something Aniplex would do back in the old days before they went a little bit bad in some parts. With the back, talk about some stuff of some conspiracies are more than theories. Oh, which makes me cringe. And with some stuff that you talk about with the extras. And disappointingly, I thought there would be more extras on here. Like, I thought there would be some commentaries on the original TV series. Like, this is actually my first time getting the TV series, and this will be my first time probably watching the series. I just wanted to get this because, one, Funimation decided to get a good premium set that I would definitely want to support on here. So, with the front on here, we got the little logo for Selectro IX or 9, I believe. You know, the East can tell which has the complete series and the two movie sports. So I don't know which one's your pick, but you're going to get both out of this set. Though sadly, the spine's a little bit bland, but I really like this back artwork here used. It really just shows like the color for it, even though it's a little bit part of its white and such with our main hero and, and heroine and with the spine on here. And I'm really surprised that this thing is going to be like some type of like floppy little digipack type thing. But with all that stuff out of the way, with this box being a little bit simplistic with its whiteness, it it's very good in just looking very nice and actually looking like something that I can put on my shelf properly. And with that out of the way, let's properly look at all the contents. The first thing you're going to notice is this nice digi, digi pack thing that you have over here with the front cover being similar to the first Blu-ray or second Blu-ray release of this. The release thing on this was so confusing, which is why I held back and luckily Funimation decided to make a premium edition of this with some different artworks and such and... Uh, some parts that do feel cartoonish to the show, even though people like said, oh, it's so serious and that kind of stuff. But I really like this whole, like, this big pan shot of the city and such. Though I really wish in between, it was kind of the biggest disappointment that I have with this stuff. Like, even with the Japanese releases of stuff from the Fate Zero Blu-ray, they had, like, some artwork in between. Which kind of, like, makes it a little bit disjointed a little bit. But I think the negative space helps the viewer's eye to connect the whole image in of it itself. Not for the Kate, not for the discs though. Like, look at these. Oh my lord, they're just the whitest of white, the blandest of blandest cases of stuff I have ever seen on here. I I don't even know which one is which on here. That's how like a little bland it was. It's it's kind of a bit disappointing on here. Though I guess people wouldn't mind that stuff. It's about the contents of the show, and I think the the average stuff of the show would actually be pretty good for me watching it and. Plus, maybe from the dub and such. But without the way, there's also a little bit more goodies we can might check from the Ender Box. Speaking of the Ender Box, I'm kind of worried about the quality of this thing. Like, if you look closely onto here, but you notice, like, these open flaps on here. Like, you can easily almost peel this thing off. And the stuff inside here, it's very hollow inside. And plus, it's very flimsy for, uh, like, a little Ender Box to use. Yes, yeah, so maybe I'm comparing to, like, other stuff, but... I don't know, this feels very flimsy and stuff. Though, with the contents... Maybe that's probably why uh, they try to like cram so much stuff in here with the cram stuff being like these little stickers that you get based off on some of the icons that you see in the show and this little little box thing that you get which surprisingly doesn't really have any clear cut instructions on how to do this like no like did like 3D little picture to see on how to fold them step by step you just gotta like go with your gut and follow the little numbers that you see on here which is I'm nervous on doing that kind of stuff. Like, I need an actual build it manual. I lived in the Lego age. I need to have a manual for stuff. I don't care about the stuff of the Lego movie teaching you about, like, creativity and that stuff, yet they still advertise certain Lego stuff by the manuals. With the last piece of stuff being the little postcards, which are basically promo images of the show, which are pretty nice to have, and also you can just write stuff in the back of them and such, since they're basically postcards. And I kind of also like this thing, and also with the number that I got on here with the thing saying that this is number 643 out of 2,500 units on this thing. 
wow like that is a very small number on here and it probably shows from the price on here with all the stuff that you get on here though disappointingly i wish there was some more uh, on disc extras and stuff i think the only commentaries you get us wise is on like the second movie i believe but with the price tag basically reflecting on the overall quality of this release, like being around the same price as like a triple A video game. I thought this would be a little bit cheaper, like especially from the quality of stuff, the contents that you get. And yeah, there may be some effort in that little figurine blocky thing, but I'm not going to try to do that because I'm worried that I might do something wrong on there and following like the numbers and that kind of stuff. I just need a little manual for it. And overall, uh, the box may be a little bit bland, but it's at least a premium edition set that I can really support because I can put this thing on my shelf. And since it's from Eden the East, it, I could finally have this show on my shelf and I actually take a look and get my opinions on it and such, and maybe have a review down the line if I get more of a following and such. But with that out of the way, thank you for seeing this video. Um, also, I want to talk about some, some stuff that I got uh, on my desk right here. As you notice, it was a little bit more brighter. I had the iOS around like 400 and such, and yeah, it felt a little bit dark still while trying to zoom in. That's the biggest flaw in my lens, but I got a second lamp to use along with my other lamp to like boost the amount of light that I get on here, so no annoying shadows on one specific side it's great and plus I have a stand for my new mic it's just it's a wonderful setup for me and it's very convenient to use so I can also do like some Skype stuff and other things too while I'm trying to grow my channel and trying to give stuff for you guys but with that out of the way thank you for seeing this video and what are your thoughts on this unboxing what would you like to request leave a like comment or subscribe to my channel follow me on Facebook Twitter support my patreon while enjoying my content this has been the Ask Me Attic, and thank you for seeing this video, and with many more to come. Bye.